In less than three months, your taxes, they're due. That's right, this year it is back to basics. We're talking Monday, April 15th. Here are three things to know. The deadline for companies to send out or make your W-2 available online is January the 31st. The IRS starts accepting tax returns on January 29th. And the fastest way to get your refund is to get it through direct deposit. Well, what about that refund? According to the North Carolina Department of Revenue, most state refund checks will go out about four weeks, but some may take up to 12 weeks, depending on the security measures. And according to the IRS, 90% of refunds go out within just three weeks. This tax season, there are some changes that could really work in your favor. For quite a while, there's been a $500 lifetime limit on a lot of these energy credits, such as for air conditions and heating units and things and doors and windows. But the Inflation Reduction Act of last year basically changed that from a $500 lifetime limit to basically up to a $3,200 annual limit. The Energy Efficient Home Improvement Credit was expanded. Starting in 2023, make a qualified energy efficient improvement to your home and you get the tax credit. And this is good until 2032. So if not this year, cash in in the future. You can claim a credit for 30% of the expenses, and that includes the labor of putting in those doors or windows or that AC unit that you bought. EnergyStar.gov is a great website to tell what qualifies. So if I bought, say, a new uh, heating system from um, my, the vendor I bought it from, they should give me paperwork with the purchase. I should hold on to that for tax purposes.